I love her like people love Beyonce, girl. Bro, Beyonce is very cool. I'm a Beyonce pop song. Beyonce? You did? How Beyonce was that? Sweet. Mukbang, and today at our table, we have the one, the only, the talented Cash Page. Woo! <laughs> yes, sir. I'm in this. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm in this thing, but I had to like think of one. I'm gonna blink. I'm gonna bleep out. Okay, but that's cool. I probably won't bleep it out. All right. <laughs> All right, so uh, today, y'all, we are going to be eating some very spicy fish. Y'all going to learn a lot more about cash, but before we start, we're going to pray, and then we'll get right into the food. Hey, let's do it. Okay. Dear Lord, thank you for this. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you talking to God and you laughing? <laughs> it's because she's holding my hand. You ready? Yeah, let's go. You want to say the prayer? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> we're going to make it simple. Okay. God is good. God is great. Thank you for our food. Amen. Amen. Everybody know that one. Yeah. Everybody that's, know it. All that's right. what everybody gotta use. So okay, so let's make a thumbnail. You started talking to just be funny. Yeah. Because you don't know what they gonna say. Exactly. All right, so like, let's take a, a thumbnail. We'll just hold up the fish a little bit. All right, I'm gonna pull this thing down so we can eat comfortably. And I got you a fork. Okay. Thank I you. think this is. Um, I'm gonna act like I know what kind of fish this is, but I don't. I see the face on it. Yeah, they got teeth and everything, like a whole mouth. But this is what you do. So, guys, we have extremely spicy <laughs> African fish. The Cash mouths look African. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> Cash likes spicy food, so she was like, "I want something spicy." So I was like, "Okay, I'll get you some fish." And it is so good. Like if you've never been to Aggies in Dallas, you need to try it. Go ahead. So, try so it. this is there's a method to this. Okay. You like. Pull the fish and like you'll find the bones and you just eat against the bone like that. <laughs> I love your face. I'm way happier that you do it. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Yeah. And then there's rice down there and the plantain. If you don't like plantain, though, no, it's all good. Damn, I'm dropping rice. It's fine. You should see my floor when I'm done filming. That's actually good. I wasn't gonna feed you anything not good. No, I already know. You be like eating some good ass food. That's mm -hmm. why I had to come with you. So y'all, if you do not already know, Cash is a singer. She's. Mm -hmm. are, wait, are you staying in Dallas or are you mm -hmm. moving? I'm moving next week. I'm, you're not even staying in Dallas? I just need a break. <laughs> Speaking, okay. <laughs> So that's how I found her. The first week that I moved here, I was um, listening to music, unpacking and everything. And I needed to take a break. And I didn't go through her album as it like started. She has an, what's your album name? We got a promo, you. My car combos, go stream that. Mm-hmm. They, um, girl part. Uh, I told you it was spicy. You were adding more spice. Yeah. I'm about to pour it on top. Don't pour it on mine. You, you got that though. You a thug. I just like spicy food, bro. Like, that's all I eat is spicy food. Really? It's not spicy, I'm not eating it. I'm glad you like this thing. Well, you got lemons? I don't. Yeah, them hoes would have hit though with the lemons. Really? I know so. You gonna start the eating channel? Cause then, you gonna have me feed, like, gonna feed me the all the way to eat the food. Cause I can't eat spicy food. We gotta have a cannabis eating channel. It's like, so whenever you're in Cali, you can pull it to my house. It will just like, be hot. And just like I'm going know. there next week. For real? Mm-hmm. How long you stand? Three days. Damn. When the next time you gonna be out there for like for a longer time? Mm. Okay, now I'm pulling bones down my mouth. <laughs> um, I don't know. Cause I just moved it. I moved from LA. Not LA. I moved from San Diego. For real? But I'm going to LA for this thing. So do you like San Diego? Um I like it, but I like the culture in Dallas more. But like LA is a little bit more like LA is super diverse too. Yeah, I yeah. Like that. I've never been to uh, San Diego. I actually want to go. Definitely go, but I think you're gonna like LA more. 
You want so much to do. We I'm moving people. to Hollywood Hills. I, I you fancy, fancy. You got yeah, okay. So y'all need to know why she's moving. <laughs> She's moving because her music career is just like insane. When I first moved here, I found um, I Need a Break from Dallas. Mm -hmm. And that song like touched my heart. Like, you do not know. And then I didn't listen to the album like how it should be. I listened to Break from Dallas and then Love Song came on. Yeah. Then you just had me in there crying. <laughs> and I was like, all right, who is this girl? So I found her on, I on Instagram and I DM'd yeah, her. Yeah. And I was like, girl, I love your music. And then she wrote me back, which I'm always shocked about when anybody, somebody writes, like, if somebody famous writes me back, I'm like, oh, I get starstruck. I don't think I'm famous, though. You don't feel any different, do you? Mm-mm. Because, like, good. we do the same thing every day. We be chilling. Like, me and my homies. Ew. I don't think I want to eat that part. No, you're not supposed to eat the head. You just want the body part. You can move it closer to me. Yeah, the, the head start doing too much. No. I start getting I pull disgusted. all the skin off because... It's super spicy, but you probably like it. Yeah, it looks good. That got me too. So, yeah. you haven't even been singing long, have you? Like professionally? Go ahead, pull them out. I like asking you questions like you. <laughs> Sharp. That's why, like, if you like go kind of against the bone, mm -hmm. you'll pull it off and the bones won't come off with it. But but no, I haven't been singing for a long time. Like, I really got serious, like, my sophomore year, no, really my junior year in high school. I, I wanted to graduate early. So when I graduated early, I was like, you know what? I want to be different than everybody. And I just want to like actually show something from my music. I don't want to just like be like, oh yeah, I do music. I want to actually be like, when I say I do music, you already know I do music, you know? Cause it was like SoundCloud really put me on and I was just really just like never promoted my music. I never promoted my music at all. I just dropped it on SoundCloud. Really? You're like, they just show, show me love. Um, no, that means you're, that the talent is real. Yeah, I most definitely want to get a SoundCloud tattoo. I told them when I went to the SoundCloud building, I was number one on SoundCloud for uh, love songs, and like I told them I was gonna get a SoundCloud tattoo on me, that logo. I just fucked with SoundCloud that whole night. So what did you? How did you react when you got? So so okay, like, so who you who who's on the remix with with um, love, love songs? songs? Black. And how did you feel when you got that call? I didn't even get a call. You did? How did that happen? I don't know how the music he, industry works. Good. He, he literally just added me on Twitter. Really? Yeah, he was like linked. And then I went out to LA. We just linked in the studio and just created some crazy shit. And just really got to know each other. We didn't record until like three hours in the session. Really? Yeah, we just sat there talking the whole time smoking. That's so cool. Yeah, that's what I like to do with like people. I'd rather get to know you and like before I, you know, start creating with an artist. Because you never know what like people going through are just like, they bob. Yeah, and you need to know they vibe before you actually start working with them. Exactly. That's the part that I think people sometimes will do it just because they think that there's gonna be so much clout associated with yeah, it. Yeah, like no, nah, I don't but care it, how much clout come with, with yeah. your name. If we don't vibe, we don't vibe. And it's not worth it because then you're selling your soul just yeah, to do basically. something. That's right. That is right. I don't know. I don't get caught up in the hype like that. I'd be chilling. That's good. Keep that forever, forever. For, <laughs> for real. Sure. I think that's just like people from the South, they really don't get caught up in the hype with anything. Well, some people do. Uh -huh. But like, majority really just be chilling because we so damn cool. Everybody from the South cool as hell. Well, I think, and then like growing up in Texas, because like I grew up here mm -hmm. and like it left such an impression on me. Yeah, we flipping this bitch. Ooh. See, I was going to flip that. Flip it, baby, flip it. And I was like, Damn. it's okay if it's a mess. You, you should see. I have blankets down and stuff when I record because it should get everywhere. Yeah. Now you be eating some good food. Especially not eating no crawfish. Crawfish good. I just can't. I, I'm i so lazy when it comes to crawfish. I don't feel like breaking at home. Yeah, just work. Too much work. Mm -hmm. No, this is good as fuck. I told you. Where'd you get this from? Aggies. It's in, um, it's off Skillman in 635. 
So like I, um, my best friends, like when I lived here, way like 10 years ago, mm-hmm. I used to work with these two dudes. One was Nigerian and one was, um, uh, where was the other girl from? Cameroon. Yeah, I mean, so why is there so many bones? Because the whole thing, she alive. Well, he was alive and then they killed him. I was going to say, he alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, bro. There are a lot of bones, and if you don't know how to eat it, then like you could easily get them. You gotta go like against the bone rib thing. What are you trying to like? Pick, pick them out, sugar. It's just because I've done this before. Because all the bones are like laid out. But um, I'm trying to eat it without the bone, but damn. Aggies is a club. No, I don't think you got any bones in it. Is that right? I got lucky. <laughs> it was a big bite too. I got lucky as hell. Aggies is like a club mm-hmm. and it's a restaurant. But this is like what people go for. So like when my best friend told me about it, he was like, you got to go there and get that spicy fish. And that was like over 10 years ago and I've been getting it ever since. It's so good. Yeah. I really wish you'd play hands with fries, bro. <laughs> I would've been eating them more than the fish. I, like I'm obsessed with fries. I am too. I fries, like. No, I'll eat fries with a Subway sandwich. I'll eat fries. Where you get your favorite fries from? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Real deep questions, because there's a lot of good fries out there. Wingstop or mm-hmm. Movie Out Burger, Five Guys. Oh, yeah. But I think they're kind of similar. That seasoning in them is. You good, fam? Looking at the window. <laughs> <laughs> at the wall. Oh, God, just staring. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm over here. I'm not showing my fingers like that. You know, you and when you and private, you, you be going. There crazy. is no private when I eat. I go crazy regardless. I've been over here. <laughs> I don't care. And then like I got this unwritten rule that like if we go out together, can I have some of your food? I really want everybody to share their food with me. The same. I, nah, you know, I make them eat food. Like I be like. I'd be like, hey, you better eat, bro. You better eat. What y'all be doing? But if you get your, you better eat the damn food. <laughs> like, yo, like my mama. No, like, you better eat that food. The kids in Africa starving. Exactly. You better eat that food. That's cool. And I feel like, if I got some food, you got different food than me, why don't we just share, nigga? Because then I get all them flavors. Exactly. And I can try what you got too. Exactly. No, so I want you to try this place. I thought you were going to say this part. I was going to say, oh, no. No. I was going to say it's different. No, you um, you seem like you're good. I ain't going to make you, you know. I think I ate more than you. I should have been talking and like, you know. I'm trying to talk to you about your stuff and you're like, no, no, it's just, it's, it's interesting because you never really know somebody's vibe when you're about to meet them. Yeah. And I, just, I know like kind of what to expect, but I don't know what to expect. And you really are just like chill. I just be chilling like, oh, I'm, I'm full of great vibes and just like, I don't know. I like the energy. I don't know because I feel like some people, like some people in the industry or some people in general just have egos. When you meet them, they just stuck up and they just like act like they're too good. Like, bro, you're not too good for nobody. Like. We are human. Cool. Yeah, like you're not too cool for school. So I just be like, I just you're be not too cool for school. No, oh God, you're not too cool for school at all. You cool kids represent. All right. I just had to. So tell them where to find you. Y'all can find me on Instagram at Cash Page and on Twitter at Cash My Checks. A K with two A's and S H. And you know there is. So. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoy getting to know getting to know Cash better. I enjoyed it. She was okay. hilarious. Now we're gonna eat more food in Cali. Gonna tee up. Yeah. So stay tuned. Yeah, I gotta. When we get off camera, I'm gonna ask you way more questions about your movement because oh, like, yeah. we ain't telling y'all the business. But I don't know. I think I'll be there. Like- yeah. No, you don't. Where's the album? I don't tell. Where is the album? <laughs> like uh. Yeah. I've been screaming that at Rihanna. If Rihanna needs to drop her music. Bro. If you meet Rihanna, please invite me. I want to play it really cool. I promise. You let you be Rihanna's cousin. I'm something. trying to be her friend. I don't really need, you know, I won't be all star. I feel like you do, since you do shit like this and you're just like real cool, I think Rihanna would love you. Well, thank you. That is really one of the nicest things anyone has ever said to me. For real? I love her. Like, people love Beyonce, girl. Bro, Beyonce is very cool. I met Beyonce five songs. You did? How Beyonce was that? Sweet. When I first met her, she was complimenting my fit. I was at a Rock Nation, um, what is 
called Rock Nation Dinner. That was a New Year's Eve party. And when I had went, she was just like, I like the way like you dress. And she was like, you from Texas? And I was like, yeah, I was from Dallas. And she was like, I can tell because you have an accent. And I was like, hey, I was like, you from Houston? She was like, yeah. And she was like, Texas girl, do the best. After that, I just keep seeing her. So. That's awesome. Yeah, no, she's dope. She I'm gives really me, like, excited for she you. She gives me, like, Amy vibes. You know, like, the real cool Amy. Yeah. I'm so excited for you and, Amy. like, your your journey. Like, no, for same real thing, same like, thing. Like, you about to do some things. I know you about to do some things. I can tell it's, it's that vibe, but, like, even when I listen to your music, like, there's certain songs where I can hear you smiling mm-hmm. while you're singing. That's hard. I can hear it. Like... I'm really excited for you and your I'll be in the, I'll be, I'll be in a booth feeling myself. I'm going to the studio Good. today. The you thing is, I record in the dorm room. Really? I don't go to studios. I like home, like recording with creators. Like, what? It's all me and my bros, and we just come together. And you create something. Yeah. Nah. I feel I like you go to a big studio, you have to be like, oh, I have to record a hit. You don't make hits in real studios. That's what people fail to realize. You make hits when they come from what they soak in a, like, at a crib or anything. Like, home studios are the best ones. Y'all, y'all better peep this gang. Y'all better. They gotta peep it. I'm telling you. Listen, this girl got some people wisdom. Make, some people are making hits in studios for sure, but like the real genuine, like the the real cool ones that it's gonna be like that that everlasting moment that that you gonna cherish. Those are at the home studios, bro. For real. You got some. You got some wisdom, girl. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to follow your journey. Thank we you. Gonna, but I, we gonna stay friends for a while. No, for sure. Nah, that's it's, dope. It's tea. So, All thank right. you for having me too. No, of course. We're going to get some food in LA too. I know some spots there. And I'm about to peep you to some fries, but we got to be off camera because then they'll they know where I live. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> I ain't helping that happen. Hey, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go nowhere yet. I got to say goodbye. All right, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just, yeah. Um, we got to talk some way, way more. Look at her. She's so Shout out to you. I will see y'all later. And until we eat again, bye, guys. Peace out. Machine. Hey. <laughs>